Hello and thank you for choosing to watch this video. I'm going to show you how to play REM's Harbor Coat off their album Reckoning. Now, this is not going to be a guitar cover, but more of how I play the song based on just hearing it. Um, I'm not formally trained, so I don't know a lot of the chord names, um, but I'll give you the best I can and I'll show you with my hands what I'm playing during the song. So we'll try to break this up. Here we go. So it starts with Mr. Buck, and you'll probably notice already I'm not playing a uh, Rickenbacker 360 like Peter Buck does. Um, that actually got stolen from me, so I'm left with uh, this 1990s semi-hollow uh, Epiphone Sheraton, which does pretty close to uh, the jingly jangly of Mr. Buck, but not quite there. So hopefully real soon I'll, I'll get a replacement. Um, but here we go and if you're trying to play along to the record uh, he goes ahead and, and tunes down a half step for the record so you can go ahead and do that now I'm just playing a regular tuning so it's not going to match up exactly to the record you'll need to tune down a half step so what happens is uh, we start with the E chord and I like to play it like this I know this is kind of the traditional way to play it, but you'll see why I choose to play it this way in a second here. Because the next chord transition, so it goes E, and then the next chord we have is the, and I'm not really sure what that chord is. If somebody can tell me, maybe in the comments, what that chord is, but it's basically, you've got your open E string, your open A string, and then what you do is you have your first finger on the first fret of the D string. You've got your second finger, first fret, on the G string. You've got an open B string. And then I have my little pinky here on the second fret of the E string. And you just play all those. So if somebody knows the name of that chord, go ahead and put it in the comments. That would really help me out. Maybe some other people too, but that's the second chord. Third chord is just an A, and I know a lot of people like to kind of bar that A. Either first finger, second finger, and that's great. Uh, it's probably going to be easier for this song to actually use all three fingers, kind of like you did when you first started learning out, because what you're going to need to do is hammer on and off that ring finger, that third finger here. So you're going to have that... So right there, that's the intro and then the chorus. And so I'll play that slow for you so you can see how that goes. And then I'll pick up the speed a little bit. So what we have is we've got the E chord. And then that buck chord. time we got the E, the little buck chord, A, so that's it and then we move on to the verses. The verses what we do is we just do a C sharp minor to an E and that E can either be played up here or can be played open down here. Either one sounds good to the record, and I'm not sure what Peter Buck does on that one. I think he plays it up here. And then you have an A barred to a B barred. And he does a nice little up picking as he moves from the A to the B, and I'll show that to you in a second. So. What we do is we start with the C sharp minor, move to the E, go to the A bar, to the B bar. So I'll play it regular speed and then I'll slow it down for you. Okay, 
so let's do that again but slower so you guys can pick up the rhythm and see the chords how they work so it's that C sharp minor to E to A barred and then you start picking slide up so she's C sharp minor and then he throws in two more chords at the end of that what he does he do, goes from F sharp minor to G sharp minor he kind of does a little fast strum with his hands. So that's the rhythm he uses. That. So F sharp minor to G sharp minor. Three times. And then he ends on kind of a picking A. So it's just an A without anything on the second string here. So that's just open. So. exactly how many times he does I just wanted to show you guys the progression so we got intro the verses the chorus which is the same as the intro and then what happens kind of in the bridge part I uh, kind of hear that harmonica going on in the background what Peter Buck is doing at that point is he's just really strumming the 12 string harmonics pretty quickly that so he's giving you that kind of sound and then what he'll do is he'll lead into uh, what I call the Peter Buck B because it's like an open jangly B that he does so you've got that For that open B is starting with the low E that's really open but you kind of just mute that I kind of just mute it with my thumb we've got the open A which really kind of don't play either but then you've got your third finger fourth fret on the D string you've got your pinky finger fourth fret on the G string you got an open B Hear that? Open. So your middle finger is not doing anything. And your first finger, right here, is on the second fret of the high E string. Okay, so that middle finger is open. That's why you get that jangly sound. That's why I call it that uh, Buck B. He uses that in quite a lot of other songs too that we'll check out. But So what he's doing is he's just picking that as he comes out of that harmonic that and then he'll come into the and then back 
to the right so then we just repeat actually end on that weird uh, buck chord up here so this is how it would end so you got that can you hear that and those are all the pieces for REM's harbor coats if you like this, go ahead and hit like down there below, somewhere right there. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And go ahead and leave me feedback. Let me know how this went for you, if there's other songs you'd like to uh, learn. Uh, I don't do covers. That'll be a different uh, subscribe. This is just lessons for REM. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.